Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install the Jet Elements plugin, which is an add-on for the Elementor website. This plugin has more than 45 widgets that you can use on any Elementor website. I'll show you how you can use different widgets on your Elementor website. Jet Elements is a part of Croco Block. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. Here you will see the list of plugins which are available on Croco Block. Jet Engine, Jet Elements, Jet Style Manager, Jet Search. So there are more than 20 plugins that you can use. And in this video, I'm going to install this plugin, Jet Elements. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to install the other Croco Block plugins and I'll show you how to install these plugins and how to use these plugins. Here you will see the widgets that you can use, countdown timer, testimonials, team member, pricing table, pricing list, slider, then you can also display posts, images, and videos. We have got advanced carousal, post grid, portfolio gallery. You can also create a section parallax effect. Let me show you how does this work. Here I have one section parallax effect created using jet elements. If I scroll on, you will see there is a movement. If I move the cursor, you will see there is a movement on these images. So this is just a simple example of section parallax effect. Apart from that, you have got pie chart, bar chart, responsive table. Let me show you a chart here. Here you will see a chart that I have created. Then I have also created before after effect. Then we have got image carousal here. And this is vertical timeline. Testimonial slider. If you are using WooCommerce, then you can also create WooCommerce badges. And here is the list of 45 Elementor Jet Elements widgets. Image layout, subscribe form, bar chart, WooCommerce featured products, button, Instagram. You can also use the Instagram widget on your Elementor website. Video player, price list, team member, progress bar, pie chart, animated box. So all these widgets are available in Jet Elements plugin. And in this video, I'll show you how to use some of these widgets and how to create the section parallax effect using Jet Elements. So let's see how we can use the Jet Elements plugin on an Elementor website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, I have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin installed. And I have already installed the Jet Elements plugin on this website. Here you will see the Jet Elements for Elementor. This is one of the paid plugins. When you install the plugin, you will see an option here in the left hand panel, Croco Block. Click on it. You will be on the dashboard of the Croco Block. And here you will see the list of plugins which are available. So you have Jet Tabs, Jet Reviews, Jet Menu, Jet Tricks, Jet Blog. And out of these plugins, I have installed Jet Elements plugin. So in the upcoming videos, I'm going to install these plugins also. So we will go through all these plugins one by one. So here it shows install plugin. Let's go to settings. Here we are on the Jet Elements plugin settings. You will see that SVG image upload status is enabled. This one is also enabled. So I guess you do not need to make any changes to these settings. You can keep it as it is integrations these are the integrations if you want to use google map api key you can enter the api keys for google map you also have integration with mailchimp and instagram so you will need these ids and tokens and you can enter those ids and tokens and you can integrate this plugin with these apps let's go to widgets and extensions and you will see all these widgets are available under this plugin advanced Carousal, Advanced Map, Animated Text, Animated Box. Here you will see available extension. This is an extension, Section Parallax extension. We will go through that. Make sure that all these widgets are enabled. If you do not want any of these images, you can simply disable it from here. Just like this. So here we have all the widgets enabled. Now let's go to the pages and we will see how we can use these widgets. I have one demo page here. I'm going to open it using edit with Elementor. All right, let's add a section here. Uh, let's add some padding. 
click on the plus sign and you will see all the elements or widgets that are available these are the basic widgets these are the pro elements i already have element of pro plugin installed so it shows all the pro elements these are the general widgets then site single and at the bottom you will see jet elements widget so all these widgets are available to use right let's see which we can use advanced carousal you can simply drag and drop it here it will show the item you can add item it is nothing but a carousal let's add one of the image here let's go to second one and add another image so you can let's delete this one let's change it so you will see two images are there let's add one more So we have got three different images here and we can create a carousal here you will see the text is also available you if you want to delete the text you can delete the text if you want to add some description about these images you can use the description and title so we have got three different images for the carousal if you want to link them you can link them if you want to use light box you can also use the light box so if i click on it it will open the image in light box under settings you will see different settings how many slides you want to show if you select one it will use only one slide you can select two slides pretty simple widget all right let's add another widget here let's try animated text you can simply enter the text here you will see an animated text here this is before text and this is after text you will see before and after and between that you have two different texts create and animate you can change it if you want to add link you can also add link you will see some settings setting is about this animation right now it is set to joke you can change it to circus so you will see different types of animations there you can also change the animation delay if you go to settings you can change the color for the before text as well as for the after text you can also change the size so this is how it will look so this is also a simple widget let's try another one audio player banner is there bar chart button so let's go to button and see if there is any difference so this is a simple button delete it bar chart you can also create charts we'll see the chart here now here we have Google, Facebook and Twitter and this is for the March, April month. If you go to Google, you will see the date 248. So for Google in the month of March, it, it is 2. In the April, it is 4 and in the May, it is 8. So you, you can define those numbers here. Same for the Facebook and same for the Twitter. And here you will see the bar type will be vertical the labels will be march april may we have got three different labels here you can also create horizontal bars so basically you need to go through these widgets and these are pretty simple widgets let's go to next one i just want to show you how these widgets work let's go to circle progress it will show the progress here just like this you will see the progress you can also change the settings if you want to add content you can also add content you also have image comparison you can add the image comparison we will use one image here so we have before image and after image let's use this one for the before image and for the after image you can use this one so you will see before and after so this is how it works you also have line chart portfolio progress bar 
scroll navigation scroll navigation can be used on a page where you have many sections or you have a lot of content in different sections so you can use the scroll navigation on that page slider testimonials and vertical timeline if i use the vertical timeline it, it will look like this so here we are on the first timeline then we can go to second timeline third one fourth one so there are different types of layouts that you can use for the timeline you can also create testimonials let's drag and drop it here uh, this is a testimonial slider let's see how we can add the parallax effect i'm going to create a new section here and let's increase the height of this section let's make it fit to screen so it will take the screen height let's go to style and let's add a background image Let's use this background image and let's change the position to center center let's make it fixed no repeat and cover so this is the background image and on this image we are going to add some elements which will have some parallax effect so let's go to the layout section so we are on the layout section of this particular section this is the layout and here you will see the option section parallax this is the extension that comes with the jet elements plugin click on it now you can add different items on this section so let's click on the add item and let's add one image this is one of the transparent image that i'm to add so you will see it here let's change the parallax speed and these are different types of animations that you can use for this particular image vertical scroll horizontal scroll mouse move scrolling zoom scrolling rotate blur and transparency let's try this one scrolling zoom and uh, let's change this speed let's change the position here so you can see that if i scroll it is going to increase the size of this image scrolling zoom Let's try vertical scroll and change the position here to the right hand side. So if I scroll, you will see that the position of this image is changing. Let's increase the speed. All right, so this is how to look it is scrolling vertical. Let's add another item here. You need to select the image this is the image and let's change the position here and let's change the parallax type to mouse move so when i move the mouse you will see there is a movement in this image let's change the speed so there will be a small movement add another item here let's try this one you can also use the z index for these items if i use one let's try increasing the speed of this image for the mouse move effect so you will see this is actually moving faster than the other one this is because of the parallax speed that we have changed for these two images. All right, let's click on update. Uh, let's go to view page. So we have got the slider here, the carousal, then we have got the chart, then before after effect. This is the timeline testimonial slider and this is the parallax effect you will see that this image is moving and if i move this cursor here this one is moving faster than the other one so this is the mouse move effect so all these widgets are available to use on the elementor website if you go for the single plugin it will cost you only 43 dollars if you go for the bundle it will cost you 199 dollars and in that bundle you will get 20 different plugins so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use that link to buy this plugin
and in the upcoming videos i'm going to install the other croco block plugins and i'll show you how to use them so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips